In my previous Viva New Vegas video, I alluded to the fact that Fallout New Vegas has a massive modding community even to this very day. The results of which has been what I consider the best community quest mods in all of gaming. I'm no Al Chest Breach, but I've played a lot of these mods, and if you want to see an eccentric weirdo tackle them all, then there's no better channel than his. Instead of a simple countdown as to who I enjoyed the most, you're instead going to have a list of offers who I've played the most quest mods from. So here's some honourable mentions to some stunning mod makers. Yossarian22 the biggest compliment I can pay Salt Lake Stories is that it feels like old Fallout. It uses old Fallout music, it has no quest markers, and you have to figure everything out yourself in what amounts to a DLC-sized old-school RPG Newlands expansion, taking the courier out to Utah and the Great Salt Lake. Baron Von Chateau Autumn Leaves is an intricate and well-written vault quest that is also DLC-sized. There's no doubt in my mind that a certain Fallout 4 DLC took a lot of inspiration from this vault populated by quirky robots. Only this fan-made content is much better than the official quest that borrowed from it. RJ Helms 84 A modder who proved in the early days that forming a large team to create entirely new lands was a great way to do things. His Dog City Denver took us to a war-torn Colorado, which was a passable first effort. His second visit to the state in Beyond Boulder Dome was received with much more acclaim, but it's also a massive bug-ridden world that definitely shows its age compared to newer and more polished releases. Radian Helix Media Project Brazil is a mod for New Vegas that started development as a Fallout 3 mod, before New Vegas was even released. To say that it has had a prolonged and troubled development history would be an understatement, but well done to the team on finally getting it out five years after the initial release. Now called New California, it's a total conversion of the game that acts as a prequel to the original title. After the massive hype surrounding it, yeah, it's alright. Well worth a playthrough. 10. My Can Show Both the After School Special and the new Bison Steve Hotel and Lucky Casino quests fit seamlessly in with the original game. The voice acting is competent, the quests are largely fetching things, but it adds a bit more life to the start of the game. 9. Alexander J. Veliki before becoming famous for his Falscar Skyrim mod, Filiki crafted two New Vegas mods. One offers some contracted shakedown work, and the other sends you back in time through a manhole in Nipton Road rest stop. Just a regular day's work for the courier then. 8. Riku Riku Although their standout quest mods have been relatively recent additions, Riku Riku's been modding New Vegas since 2014. Death's Last Whisper and Of Truth and Lies are the real standouts here, with talking death claws, cannibal hybrids, and all kinds of interesting references to the original Black Isle games. 7. Pineapple Surprise Repcon Blues is a superb addition to the game with new weapons and a treasure trove of an abandoned facility to explore, a worthy addition to any Vegas modding list. Alien Exterminator is a bounty mod with tongue firmly in cheek as you deal with those pesky greys. New Vegas Midnight Special goes off the deep end, with a spaceship, wacky robots, magic space mushrooms, and a gang of hobos. Number 6. Jokerine Fancy going to the moon? Joe Kareen has released hundreds of mods in their own inimitable art style and a few quest mods for them to operate in. Other than going to the moon, you can rebuild Nipton from the ashes, rescue a puppy, help a talking mole rat, and visit a toy factory. The quirky style might not be for everyone, but each quest is crafted with obvious love. 5. Kazopert Ever wanted to visit abandoned facilities guided only by the terminal entries of the soon-to-be-damned? Well, boy, do I have a quest modder for you. Those seeking voiced quests with deep plots should look elsewhere, but the creator of a functional post-game ending knows how to craft a good abandoned facility. 4. Chris Takahashi 
you won't see many of this user's mods on the Nexus, but you'll be missing out on a lot of content if you don't manually install them. From new companions to a new joint in Vegas complete with Sultry Singer, Takahashi is better known for his Skyrim work, and a stripped down version of that adds all kinds of background NPCs chatting away to the mix, many with quests of their own. 3. The Overseer Filling a hole that a certain other user departed from several years prior, the Overseer is honest about his influences, and crafts great stuff for those who like the darker side of Vegas. Whether it's fleshing out the great cans with initiation rites, adding another bounty hunter agency under an overpass, a new companion with a snazzy hat, a new town or an entirely new world space, the Overseer has you covered. I wouldn't play New Vegas without these mods, and he's just released a huge new one too. Number 2. American Weirdo He spelt his username wrong, so the bar was set pretty low. But if you're a fan of ironic, wacky quests with plenty of meta humour, then this man has exactly what you need. So cast aside all prejudice and experience the zanier side of Vegas, helping mad scientists, preventing drug trades and teaming up with pre-war movie stars. Just don't expect the quality to be up there with the greats, okay? Number 1. Some Guy 2000 Disturbingly nihilistic, gritty to the point of edgy, and imbued with more of a spaghetti western feel than the original game, Some Guy 2000 created an entire world within Vegas, featuring new factions and fragile alliances in the ever-shifting power struggle for the Mojave. Whether it's something as simple as being a bounty hunter or taking up boxing as a side gig, or world-ending clashes like standing at the front lines with the NCR at a doomed outpost, knowing your new friends probably won't survive the battle to come, the Some Guy series is like a game within a game. It's the greatest quest mod series I've ever had the pleasure to play in any game, and I'm hopelessly in love with all ten mods. What's that? I left your favourite out? This was never about what was best, it's about the users I played the most quest mods from. Besides, some guy would top my list of favourites too.